everybody. Thanks for coming tonight. My name is Tom Bruce and I'm a volunteer with the Friends of Scouting program. And yes, because it's Friends of Scouting, I'm here to ask for money tonight. But I think more importantly than that, I want to spend most of my time talking about, for me as a parent, as a father of two boys and three children in total, what scouting really means to me. So I'm going to start by talking to you about three things that I think for me are direct our direct message about what comes out of scouting. And those three things are scrambled eggs, dirty dishes, and dirty jobs. I'm going to take you on a quick trip into my kitchen one morning very early. I get up very early for work, about 5 o'clock in the morning, because I like to work out before work. But I was up one, early, one morning early finishing my workout, and I heard some noise in the kitchen, and I walked around the corner, and there was my 13-year-old son cooking his breakfast at the stove. And it was shocking to me, because I'd never seen that before. And I said to him, what are you doing? And he said, cooking breakfast. I like scrambled eggs. Completely dumbfounded, I said, but when did you learn to cook? And without even batting an eye or looking my way, he said, on the last camp out. And I'd ask all of you as parents a question. How many of your son's non-scout friends cook their own breakfast? Because I know mine do, because it was a skill that they learned on scouts. And I don't think it's about scrambled eggs or pancakes or waffles or donuts. I think it's about something more important than that. I think it's about self-sufficiency, and there is my son, when he was much younger, learning to cook on one of his first campouts with Troop 20 in Wilton, Connecticut. Now I'm going to take you to another conversation I often have with my 12-year-old son, and I'm sure many of you have had this with your sons, and it starts with this, clean your room. And I will tell you that my 12-year-old's room is pretty darn clean, in fact, it's cleaner than my wife and I's bedroom. So I would ask again a simple question. How many of your son's non-scout friends clean their room or wash their clothes or wash their own dishes without being asked? And I think what scouting imparts upon you, and I would define this one as a sense of responsibility and a sense of commitment to yourself and commitment to others. And I'll take you to another camp out, and there's my little guy when he was much younger. That was, in fact, his first camp out in Boy Scouts when he was testing out the troop. And they asked, hey, who's going to help out with KP and clean up from breakfast? And he was the first to raise his hand. And I will tell you, he never raised his hand at home, but he raises his hand all the time now, post this, and post his entrance into the Boy Scout program. Your sons are scouts, and statistically, they're very much more likely than their non-scout friends to graduate from college. They're much more likely than their non-scout friends to earn higher incomes. They're much more likely than their non-scout friends to place a high value in family relationships. And I can tell you when I look back at my family, the things I cherish the most are the relationships with my wife and my children and the memories that doing things together create. And scouting inst instills a sense of appreciation for that in our sons. Now, I'm not famous, but this guy is. Many of you might know him. His name is Mike Rowe. He's the host of one of the most popular shows on television called Dirty Jobs. But what you may not know about is Mike Rowe's past. And before Mike wound up on uh, Discovery Channel's Dirty Jobs, he was an opera singer. And after that, he actually sold stuff on QVC for a little while. And long before that, he was an Eagle Scout. There's a great letter if you go on Google and just Google Mike Rowe plus Eagle Scout letter. And there was a dad that reached out to Mike and said, hey, my son is almost making Eagle, but he's kind of lost the will to go on. He's lost interest in the program, and I don't think he's going to make it. And Mike, I know you're an Eagle Scout. Would you reach out to him and just give him a little oomph to get him over that goal line? And Mike wrote this, son a, a, this, this child a great letter, and I'm going to do it a bit of disservice because I'm going to paraphrase it. But I'm going to take some of the most important messages that I think were in that letter. So the first thing Mike said to this boy was, the Eagle Award is not really meant for people who need to be dragged across the finish line. Being an Eagle Scout requires you to be different than most everyone around you. But from Mike's perspective, being different is really, really hard, and that's why the award is called an accomplishment. However, when he looks back at his very accomplished career in life, and now being arguably a household name, what Mike Rose values in his case was doing the things that were different, doing the things that put him on the edge of popularity, Things like singing opera or working in Home Shopping Network, and most importantly, earning his Eagle Award when all those choices required hard work, sacrifice, and delayed gratification. So Mike goes on to say to this boy, I have no idea if you'd prefer an easy life of predictability or mediocrity, or if you have the passion to follow the road less traveled. Only you get to decide that. 
And I think that's what Scouts is about. Scouts is about giving each and every child the opportunity to be extraordinary in the goals that they choose to try to accomplish. Every one of our sons can work hard at school and never become Einstein. Every one of our sons can practice their sport and not become Derek Jeter. Every one of our sons can practice their instrument and not become Beethoven. But in Scouts, and this will be at a different level for each child, every Scout will become more self-sufficient. Every Scout will learn what it means to do for others. Every Scout will obtain skills that will last a lifetime. Every Scout will capture a character to be proud of. And every Scout will accomplish something extraordinary for them, something that they never thought they could do, whether it was earning that rank, earning that merit badge, climbing that mountain, kayaking down that river. Each one of those are a goal that many of those boys think they'd never have the chance to either do, much less accomplish. And for them, it's an opportunity to be extraordinary. But scout programs don't happen on their own. Our council needs your help. It takes a lot of money to run the Boy Scout program here in Connecticut. And the Connecticut Yankee Council responsibly raises and spends over $4 million per year 85% of it goes directly in service to individual scout units like this one. So I'm asking tonight for a $180 donation. And I know that seems like a lot of money, and in fact it is a lot of money. So I looked at, what are you likely to spend $180 on this year? Well, in Connecticut, you'll spend, on, spend it on six months of cable vision. If you have internet access along with your cable vision, which you probably do, you'll spend it on three months of cable and internet. If you go to Dunkin' Donuts every day, you'll spend way more than that, but if you bought just five extra large Dunkin' Donut coffees each month, you'd spend $180. And you'd get less coffee if you went to Starbucks instead of Dunkin' Donuts. I'm sure you all have iPhones or smartphones and you've got data plans so you can download things like Angry Birds and play cool games on your phones. Well, $180 will buy you six months of an iPhone data plan the cheap one with the lowest amount of data. If you donate $180 tonight here with us, you'll spend that money not on any of those things, but on changing a boy's life for the better forever. Because the skills, the self-sufficiency, the responsibility, the character that comes from Boy Scouts lasts a lifetime. And it will always be with your children. And your investment of $180 in the programs today will last with these boys as it has with me for the rest of their lives. Scouts truly gives every boy the opportunity to decide to be extraordinary, to accomplish something they never thought they would do, and understand what it means to work for something, what it, understand what it means ultimately to achieve. So give all the boys across the state of ours the opportunity to achieve by making a donation tonight. Thank you very much.